Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be trading again with Quarters Broker. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to take $30 balance to over $30,000 in profit. All right. But this video is definitely going to be uh, a series video that I'll be actually uploading every Thursday of the week, showing you how much profit I'm making using this $30 every week until I hit my $30,000 target. All right. So this video will be posted every Thursday. So let's make sure that you tune in so that you can follow uh, what's it called the process. All right. So another thing is I'll be using different uh, what's it called strategy as well. All right. So I'll be using maybe like every two, two weeks, I'll be using different strategy and I'll make sure that I stick to the strategy and what's it called rule and regulation to show you how I'm able to raise from $30 to $30,000 in profit. All right. So I don't know how long this video is going to take. It may take me a few weeks or even months. So, but let's just start right now. So over here, I'm using this strategy. This is the strategy I used the last time. So over here, we are using three indicator. We're using two moving average and one parabolic SAR. And this is the setting of my moving average. So the first moving average I use, I use it as period of five. The moving average here is EMA. I take the line here and I use the red color. So that's pretty much all you have to do when you're done your closet. So the second uh, indicator is parabolic SAR with acceleration of 0 0.04. The maximum acceleration is 0 0.2. Over here, I use this color right here. And when you're done, you close it. So the last indicator I use is another moving average with a period of 23. The moving average here is EMA, all right? So over here on this part, I actually use this color here, the green color here, and I take the line. So when you're done, you close it. So this strategy work with one minute trade time. I'm actually using it with one minute trade time and 30 second candle time frame, all right? I'm also using this with Henneke Ashi candlestick. All right, so I'm using that with Henneke Ashi candlestick. So if you haven't signed up with this uh, broker, you can actually make use of my link to sign up. All right, they're going to give you a 10,000 demo account that you can actually process with. And if you decided to make a deposit with my link, you should able to have 50% uh, what's it called bonus on your first deposit. All right. So how this strategy work is very simple. Like I said on the last time I make a video about it, this strategy is going to base on a train confirmation. All right. So based on my settings, it's going to point out to you when you have a very strong trend, that is only when you're going to get a signal. So it's a very powerful strategy. So the number one thing we always need to look out each time we're going for a trade, we need to have our parabolic SAR above the candlestick, just like what happened here. So make sure that you have at least, I said at maximum of six dot confirmation of a downtrend with your parabolic Lake. So when that happened, make sure that your both moving average here, the green and the red line here actually intersect. Let me take it back. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm actually explaining. So make sure that the both line are actually intersect each other and their both line giving you a downtrend before you enter a trade. You see, it's a very simple strategy. So the same thing applicable if you're going for an up trade. The number one thing you need to okay, let me find a moment. Okay, this is a good one. So the number one thing you need to have is to make sure that you have your parabolic SAR below the candlestick. Let them be giving you an uptrend confirmation, like a six dot maximum, right? So when that happens, make sure you have your both moving average, uh, both line intersect each other, and they're both giving you a uptrend confirmation before you enter a trade. Like I just said, always make sure you're taking your trade on a very strong candlestick. So that's just how it works. So right now, I'm analyzing the market. So this strategy work with um uh, what's it called? It works really great on normal market, like I said earlier on. So I'll be trading this with normal market. All right. It actually works with autism though, but it works really powerful, more stable when you use it on normal market. So I'll be putting up the currency pair up, guys, analyzing the market. So when I get a good moment, I'm gonna come down and enter a trade. And of course, I'm going to show you all I'm talking about here. All right. Okay, guys, over here, I'm finding a good moment. You can see that our board moving average just touches each order and we're having a confirmation of our parabolic SAR, but I'm still waiting for the next candle so that I can have a clear picture of the intersection of my moving average. You can see it just happened right now. So I'm going to enter a trade on that. So like I do said, always make sure that you're placing a trade on a very strong candlestick. It's very important. Make sure that your board moving average intersect each order before you enter a trade. And like I said, make sure you're having a confirmation of your parabolic SAR giving you an uptrend confirmation below the candlestick before you enter a trade. It's very important. All right. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. All right. All right, guys. I think we have a few seconds left to close the trade. 
a good one there guys we're in the money on that that's actually a good one so i'm gonna increase my balance to be on 15 dollar all right keep analyzing guys so when i get a moment i'll come down and take a trade all right guys i'm finding a moment here let me enter this trade real quick you can see right here the intersection happened and like i said always make sure you're having a six dot maximum with your parabolic sar the reason why i place the trade here you can see that the trend is uh what's it called it's very strong going up and the candlestick was very strong so that is that's the reason why i place the trade but guys let's wait and see if there's gonna be a good one you can see the candle actually reverse well let's wait and see so I actually really preferred when you're having your parabolic SAR just starting out, like I do say, like maybe like three or four dot. All right. I, I really prefer that because then you're going to have a very, uh, if I actually have a four dot here, this is where I'm going to enter the trade, this particular candlestick right here or right here, you see. So with that, you're going to have that kind of a start up trend, just like the trend is just about to move. All right. So let's wait. I think this is going to be in the money as well. With the money on that as well. So like I said, if you have it, like if you are, if your parabolic SR just starting out, it's going to give you this kind of, like it's definitely going to start out when the trend is about to move so that you can actually follow the trend. Not like when the trend is already up just like this. So that's the reason why I usually mention that you should make sure you're taking the trade when the trend, when your parabolic SR dot is just starting out on the trend. All right. I hope you understand. A good one there guys i'm gonna increase my balance now to come fifty dollars so let me take thirty dollar trade analyzing guys okay guys over here i find a good moment i'm gonna enter a trade on this so as you can see right here our uh what's the call the bot moving averages intersect each order on this particular candlestick and we have our parabolic sar giving us a strong downtrend right there so that's the reason why i place the trade all right so there's always make sure that you're placing the trade on a very uh, strong candlestick. Like I do say, it's very important. All right. So another thing I think I would love to say is um, I a lot of people, when you're trading, you have this kind of phobia in your mind that um, what's the call? Maybe the trade is going to get lost at the end of the day. So I just want to make mention of this. There's something we call emotion. So when you're trading, you should know how to control your emotion. It's very important that you know how to control it. You need to be very calm and trust the process, trust the, uh, when the money and that, trust the, how will I put it? Trust the strategy you're using. All right. So in as much you have everything in control, you're definitely going to be, uh, in a good moment. All right. So even though you lost the trade, you're definitely going to know the reason why you lost the trade. All right. Do not enter a trade based on your emotion. This is very important. Always know how to control your emotion, control your mind and follow the process of the strategy and don't wait for it to happen. You're always going to end up with profit. Even though you lose, you're going to lose some definitely. But at the time goes on, you're going to realize that you are more in profit than in lose if you do not use your emotion to trade. All right. Always trust the process, trust the strategy you are trading on. So that's the reason why I used to say that make sure you try the strategy first with your Domola account. All right. So when you get very good with it, then you can actually use your life account. And by that time, do not be scared because when you're on your demo account, you're not scared. You're just trading because the money is free, but also use the same emotion on your life account. Do not be scared. Just trust the process of the strategy and you're definitely going to be and the money at the end of the day trust me it's really worked a good one there guys keep analyzing so when i get a good moment i'm going to come down and take a trade okay guys so over here i'm going to enter a trade um let me enter the trade real quick before i start explaining you can see that the trend is actually coming down very strong i have my bot moving average right here intersect each other it just touches its order all right you see the intersection right there so and over here, I see this a very strong candlestick other than the last few candlesticks that has been generated. So over here, I think this is definitely going to be a good moment. So that's the reason why I entered the trade. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. All right. So another thing is to always make sure that you're having a steady candlestick. All right. So that is only when you're going to know if the market is good or not. So if you're having, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, a very choppy candlestick, do not enter a trade because it means that a particular PS might not uh, be on a good market. So, but when you're seeing a steady candlestick like this, all right, just like this, you should know that the candlestick is stable, like it's steady. 
and then the market is still at that point of time. So if you're having your strategy, uh, what's the call signal on that particular peers, you should go ahead and enter a trade. It's definitely going to be a good one. Consider right now with the money on that. A good one there, guys. Keep analyzing, All right? All right, guys, it's a good moment here. I'm going to enter trade on that. All right, this trend is actually coming down so good as well. You can see the intersection right here. You can see um, the candlestick right here was very powerful and the trend has been coming up for it from this position. All right, we're still in a good moment. So that's the reason why I plus a trade on that. So guys, let's wait and see if this is going to be a good one. All right. A good one there, guys. So uh, we end the money on that. So guys, this is where I'm going to stop on today's trade. You can see I'm on $200 profit right there from $30. All right. So this is how I'm going to trade. Another thing you should put in mind is when you're trading, do not keep trading. All right. You should have a maximum period of time you want to stop trading. For me, if you actually check most of my video, I do take a trade maximally on four trade. You can go and check. So my trade always stopped on four trade, especially if I win all my trade from my first, second, third trade. If I win them, I'm definitely going to stop trading. I know my own risk. And the reason is the fact that when you keep trading, the market might reverse in a moment. It might actually change on you and you keep losing all the money you've won. So when you are, uh, so when you are trading and you say that you've won like four or five of your trade, just stop trading. You can actually come back and trade again if the market is stable. But at that particular time, just stop trading, just stop trading, just go somewhere, just relax, take a break. And you can come back maybe like a few hours later to continue to trade if the market is still stable at a time. All right. But if you are winning trade like six, seven times and you continue trading, it's definitely going to, the market might actually really change on you because that is how it was programmed to be. The market might really change on you and you keep losing. All right. So this is another secret that you need to know. You should know when to stop trading because the way I trade mine is that when I win my trade, I win my first, second, third and fourth trade. I will stop trading in regardless of how stable the market is. So that is how I program my mind. That is how I train myself to trade. So, but if you continue trading and you keep winning, you keep winning, you never know when the market will reverse on you and you'll start losing back all the profit you've made. I think it's very important. So that's the reason why I would never um, take a small balance to take it to a maximum balance in a day. It's not going to happen. It's not going to possible because at the end of the day, you're going to start losing back. All right. So this is what you should know. So I'll be continuing from here on Thursday, the next week, Thursday. I think I have a good balance now. So right now I have $200 balance now. So it will be very easy for me to start taking a good trade from $200. So guys, this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. I'm going to upload the next episode next week, Thursday. So make sure you actually stick on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe now. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next uh, episode and that thing is i have my telegram link on the description so make sure you actually join the telegram ring to be part of the family and you'll be the first to know when i have something important to pass through or when i'm uploading a video on the day all right i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video